All right. When you think of New Orleans, you think of jazz, the French Quarter, and of course the delicious food. But you won't have to travel to the Big Easy for a taste of gumbo and other delectable dishes. Margaret Lavetti, executive chef at Gentilly Kitchen and Bar in the West Village, is here to give us a taste of the Crescent City. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit. Gum National Gumbo Day is coming up, right? National Gumbo Day is October 12th, okay. and we are a restaurant that is uh, based on uh, the neighborhood that my boss grew up in in New Orleans called Gentilly, mm -hmm. and we serve Creole food. So we brought a few different things for you today um, that we feature at the restaurant. We have obviously the gumbo that we're going to make, mm -hmm. and we have crab maison right here. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. This is very, very good. Uh -huh. it's ruby red grapefruit and fresh jumbo lump crab meat with avocado. Okay. And then we have homemade beignets. And what's the first thing I said? <laughs> <laughs> did I just look pretty or did I, okay? We'll try them as you as you yes, tell us. Yes. And then there's a couple other things and yeah. then we gotta get started mm. on the gumbo. Okay, um, so so the <laughs> we're eating. <laughs> okay, well, you go. We're ready to cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so the gumbo is started with a, a blonde roux, which is a light roux, which is basically melted butter. Okay. And then once the butter is melted and hot like this, mm -hmm. you add the flour to it. Mm. And this is what thickens the soup, uh, the stew. Right. So I would start with that, and you kind of make it into a paste. You have the butter bubbles up like that. And how high is the flame? All the way up. All the way up high. Okay. It's the only temperature we use. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then you um, you put, I have all these ingredients that are going to go first. So this mm. is the base of the gumbo. So it's andouille sausage, which is a spicy smoked sausage, mm -hmm. poblano peppers, and red peppers. Mm. Some people just use green. Some people use both. Right. We're using both today. Chopped up pretty fine, too. Yeah. Well, we're a nice place. I know. You are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Um, so when you cook the sausage in the roux like this, the oil comes out of the sausage and that flavors the whole soup mm -hmm. as it simmers. Um, and then we follow that with um, uh, diced celery and onions mm -hmm. and fresh okra. You got it. Ooh. Fresh okra and fresh tomatoes. So there you, you got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it, kind of. She's the professional. <laughs> so celery, onions, and I just have the okra here like this, so uh -huh. you can see it, but we have it chopped up here okay. to make it simple. And basically, this is something between a stew and a soup, so you simmer all the ingredients mm -hmm. together. So this is definitely something you can make ahead of time. Yes, in fact, mm -hmm. we happen to have it all right, <laughs> right here uh, for you guys to try. Um, and so once everything starts cooking, then I add all the seafood. We have shrimp, we have crab meat, we have lobster, mm. we have crawfish. Wow. But there's a lot of different kinds of gumbo you can make. We have um, actually duck gumbo at the restaurant. You have duck gumbo, too, at the restaurant. We do. This is seafood today because we stuck to the uh, classic because it's for National right. Gumbo mm -hmm. Day. But we have duck gumbo at the restaurant that's excellent. Mm -hmm. And Wonder then how long do we cook it once you, you know, when you Add start everything. adding the seafood and everything? You cook it until you smell it a lot. <laughs> To your restaurant because yeah, this has a lot of come. ingredients. I think come. So I have all the uh, seafood mix here. Okay. okay. So you, you would add all the oh. seafood so the juices come out, and then I oh, have wow. a, a little bit of tomato paste, which helps to thicken it and give it the nice color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then some shrimp stock, which is here. So this is like a fresh seafood stock. Wow. That's kind of dark. And then all these seasonings here, we have uh, gumbo. Gumbo filet. <laughs> a little bit of everything. I always pronounce it wrong. A little bit of everything. Blackening seasoning, cayenne pepper, fresh thyme, salt and pepper. So uh, everything, everything that's here goes, goes in there. In. And then, you know, I would cook it probably for like 45 minutes after wow, that. Okay. And then you And then you yeah, yeah, show us the finished product here. Voila. Oh my, oh my gosh. So this that's is our beautiful. gumbo. We have for to you. try some of this. Mm -hmm. Let me and you're a native you. New Yorker, so how did you learn all of, how to cook all of this Big Easy food? Uh, my new boss, <laughs> Andre Ray, is from New Orleans. He's from Gentilly, so he's been very patient teaching me because right. uh, it is not um, the kind of food that I grew up with, but I hope I'm a quick learner. Oh, you're so course. experienced. You've been in professional kitchens since you were 14, I, I hear? have. So it's been a long life. <laughs> So you, I'm you. sure you picked this up quick here. You can take this. Well, you know, if you have basic uh, cooking mm -hmm. method, method cooking um, abilities, you right. can kind of. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Is it spicy? Thank you. It's not that spicy, which I kind of like because I'm not a big spicy person. Oh, this is delicious, especially for a dreary day like today. Yeah. Margaret, thank you so much for thank being you. here. We really appreciate it. And you can find the recipe. You're going to need all the ingredients list. <laughs>
to this by heading to our website, cbsnewyork.com.